today we are going to change the power brake booster. This one happens to be leaking. It's hard to see. Let's see if we can get the camera in there. Right there. See a little gap right there? It's leaking right out of here. So we gotta change it. We'll pull that out and go get a new one. So there's uh, six bolts from what I understand that we have to take out. We have to take this one out here and the one on the other side. Let's see it there. And then if you look at this plate, you'll see this rivet uh, looking thing right here. Well, those are bolts that are on the inside under the dash and there's another one down there you can see that one there there's one there there's one on the bottom on the other side of course those have to come out this line this is your return line to the to the power steering pump and that line there has got to come off and that line there has got to come off you take these two bolts off here that one there and the one on the other side and you can move this whole um, master cylinder assembly back far enough the lines will flex enough for you to uh, actually get that power steering or the uh, power brake booster out and here are the bolts on the inside so you can see uh, this lights terrible try to get some light for you guys so you can see There's a okay. There's uh, that one there, that one there, that one up there, and you can see my uh, booster is actually leaking a little bit on the inside here. So, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Okay, once you get the bolts out of the ma off the master cylinder here. You'll see there's a keeper washer there that uh, it's like a, a clip washer that holds onto the stud right here. Um, yeah, pretty hard to get off. Um, once you wiggle it loose, get it loose a little bit, you can start to uh, spin it. I can't really show it on the camera here, but you can spin it and just unthread it from the stud itself. Um, so you can keep it and use it when you put the new one back in. Get that keeper out. You can just... Uh, just grab one of the lines or something like that. Just grab a hold of the master cylinder and just kind of wiggle it back. And just now you, it's out of the way enough. You can pull it off to the side or whatever to uh, make sure you got enough room to get the power brake booster out. Once you get that moved out of the way, you're ready to take the lines off of uh, the power brake booster um, this line here is a focus I can't really see it it's an 18 millimeter I highly suggest using a line wrench and the other side is actually a 16 millimeter so you just put your wrench on there like so give it a little tug let me get my strong arm in there and that comes loose just like that and then get to the other one. Take that off of there. Position the right wrench right. Do a little tug. There you go. They're both loose. From here, you should be able to unthread them by hand. Well, it depends on your vehicle too, how rusty 
things are this one is actually pretty clean so not much of an issue there for rust corrosion cancer whatever you want to call it yeah so just take those two lines off I'm not gonna bore you with that and we'll move to the next step okay so when you pull these lines off if you'll notice there's an actual o-ring right on the end of that thing make sure that comes out with the line if not it's stuck in there and try not to damage it so it's uh, good to use on a new one the other side loose and as I was pulling it out you can see here that the o-ring is just kind of floating in there right yeah. I have to get a pick hold on a second There it is. Yeah, so like I said, make sure that comes out with it. You don't want to lose them. To the inside. I have to get up in here. Rather kind of tight. You can see that bolt right there. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Not really. Of course not. Why would it? There. Bolt right there has to come off. That's uh that's holding the the push rod on. Well there's this bolt here and that comes out and then there's a clip. I'll show you how to take that clip off. After we get this out. Yeah, it's kind of confined, kind of tight space here. But, you know, patience. And you'll get it out. Boy, I love these ratchet wrenches. When I was younger, I could have really loved to have one of these. Okay, once you get it loosened to about that point there, you can literally just grab the bolt, pull up on it, and pop the clip off. You can see there's the clip right there. All right, after you get that clip off, you just take a little fancy dancy uh, push rod removal tool, which is right here. It's, See, a fancy tool? It's just a fancy tool. You just kind of work it, and boom, it's off. Just like that. And separate that. There you go. There's the push rod, there's the switch. Nothing to it. Slides on, slides off. There's the rod. Rod's loose. I'm gonna take out these four bolts are here. 15 millimeter. Just take them loose. Got one here. Got one here. One here. And one over there. You get those four out, and then the whole assembly comes out. After you get those four bolts out, and you can see they're out, you go to the other side. There's a gasket between the plate and the firewall itself, so be careful when you're pulling it off that you don't wreck that gasket or you have to buy a new one. 
Okay. Nobody likes to buy new stuff. So, so grab a hold of it, kind of give it a little wiggle. There it goes. Broke yeah, loose. Yeah, it's in a uh, brown box, second or third drawer down. Yeah, you got the idea. I'm not going to bore you with that either. Well, I didn't film the installation of everything, but I got it all installed. Everything's done. You see the new rod there, nice and shiny. All the bolts are in. Everything's attached. Um... The new power booster, the old local auto parts store. I'd like to thank them for uh, actually having the part on hand. Yeah. One thing to note, um, I did flush um, the power steering reservoir um, before attaching the two metal lines, this one and that one. Uh, just to ensure there's no contaminants in there and what I did to uh, flush that was uh, rather simple I just took this line here and this line here and attached them with a hose in between and then I took this line here and put that in a bucket got inside the truck and just cranked the wheel back and forth left and right uh, pumping all the uh, fluid out of the power steering reservoir and uh, yeah that was it it's all done it's all nice and clean fluids clean it's full let me show you you can see here see how clean that is so yeah, that was it. It was pretty easy. Thanks for watching.